What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. I am your host, Maximilian Hussler, and today we've got a nice little fragrance review for you. Now, I would say until the end of May, we're going to be doing, um, you know, spring fragrances, basically. And then when May's over, we'll switch into summer fragrances. Um, I think there's fragrances that are sort of exclusively designed for different seasons. I think two good examples of, of those would be Green Irish Tweed, which we have right here, um, and, and Virgin Island Water, also by Creed. Um, and I think that Green Irish Tweed is a perfect um, spring scent, and Virgin Island Water is a perfect summer scent. I think you could wear Green Irish Tweed in the summer. I don't think you could wear Virgin Island Water really any time um, that's not summer unless you're in a tropical climate. That's just my opinion on it. Um, and then just so else you guys know what's coming up, I'm going to be doing a um, shaving collection video, showing my collection of shaving gear and creams and soaps. i got about 40 creams and soaps. Uh, I'm going to be doing that in a couple of months, and then um, I'm going to be doing a fragrance collection sometime in the summer, and then a fragrance collection sometime at the end of the year. You know, at right now, I'm about 40 bottles, I'd say. I want to get up to 50 around before I do my first collection video. And then at the end of the year, it should be closer to 100 for fragrances. So we'll do uh, those as well. What we're talking about today, guys, obviously, is Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And it's almost certain that your favorite reviewer's favorite reviewer has already reviewed this scent. But that's okay with me. Um, obviously, I'm very new to uh, fragrance review shows, um, and so, you know, I want to do some basics as well. With Creed, for me, I've sort of always felt that, like, fragrant heads over, uh, overrate the brand. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier video videos, you know that I'm sort of more of a fan of Frederick Mao. I just feel like his scents are more elegant, more refined. I couldn't see him putting out anything as simple as Virgin Island Water, um, and I know that that's a beloved and flav favorite scent of a lot of people, so I'm not trying to slag it off. Um, I'm not knocking it. I'll probably be buying a bottle this summer, but it is a very simple, linear scent, um, and I really couldn't see Mal putting out a fragrance that linear with such poor longevity. Um, I've pretty much sampled or had decants of everything in the Creed line, with the exception of Ossier Aluminum, Airfola, um, and then the exclusives that only come in the flacons, you know what I'm talking about, Spice and Wood, Jardin de Amalfi, the vanilla one. Um, I've liked some. I've liked some very much. I love Aventus. I love Millicium Imperial and Silver Mountain Water and Royal Oud and, and Green Irish Tweed. Many of you guys already know the Creed, Creed pricing structure, so I'll briefly explain it in case you don't. If you go to them on the retail side of things at the Creed Boutique or at, um, you know, like Neiman Marcus, you're going to pay three fifteen for a four-ounce bottle. But they can basically all be had on websites like FragranceNet and Beauty Encounter and sometimes Amazon for less than half of the price. Usually you can find most of those scents on the sites for anywhere between $125 and $200 bucks for a 4 ounce. Now I'm okay with paying those prices because you're getting a lot of juice for your money. But I think the only two I'd pay retail for would probably be Aventus and Green Irish Tweed and possibly Royal Oud, which only comes in a two and a half ounce bottle. Now, just so you know, with most Creed scents, except for the Flack Holmes um, exclusive scents, you can pretty much get all of them also in two and a half or one ounce bottles. So, you know, there are other ways to go if you don't want to shell out the green for the four ouncer and you want to get it from the Creed Boutique, you can get a two and a half ouncer or a one. Um, but, but, there's also a thriving market out there for fake bottles of Creed, and they look really legit at this point. So if I were you, I would only buy this stuff off a reputable web website where you know you can return it if it doesn't look official to you. But be warned, if someone on eBay is selling a bottle for $100 or less, it's basically guaranteed that it's a fake. Um, I know Kerosene did a video on that. Al from Street Sense is going to go to the Creed Boutique and have Lewis show him what a fake bottle looks like. And I'll do a video on that in the future so you guys don't get jerked for your hard-earned ducats. But the number one thing to remember is probably that if a deal seems too good, it probably is. I got this bottle for 160 off of Fragrance Net. It's a 2011 batch. Um, the batch number on your bottle should always uh, match the batch number on the box. So... Now you might initially be worried when you get a sample from, uh, a, I'm sorry, a bottle from a Beauty Encounter or Fragrance Net because there might be Arab writing inside of their, the history paper that comes with the bottle. 
Uh, there is a mod, but this is normal. They were just bottles in the Middle East that didn't, didn't sell. And basically, uh, I'll show you, like, normally you get a little pamphlet that has the history of Creed, and it's in French or English, but in the Middle East, it's in this. And this is certainly not any French that I was taught. So, um, obviously, you can see it's Arabic, but it's a nice, high-quality paper uh, with the multiple folds, and so we're all good with that. Creed bottle is very beautiful. Uh, heavy black glass. These are really elegant bottles. You can see here the crown is... Um, well positioned normally in the fake bottles it'll be askew but it's got a lot of detailing it's positioned right on the inside of the nozzle you've got the white uh, and usually the fake bottles don't have that you've got the Creed perfectly on the um, on the top of the box and then the other thing that's probably pretty um, let you know it's real is the fake bottles sort of don't have good pump action on the atomizer and they only shoot like a little bit of fragrance, nothing like the real Creed's do. And I'll try to get as much of this in the picture I can. But as you can see, you push this guy down and you get the Death Star blast of fragrance. So that's another good way just to know if you're dealing with a, a real or fake product. Another way to know is on the box, you can clearly see here the Creed logo is detailed, the embossing. Um, this is not a sticker. This is like a nice felt and it's attached to the box. You can't really take it off, so um, all the spelling and punctuation is correct. I ripped this when I opened it like a like a jerk muffin, but um, all the spelling grammar is correct. You know, uh, there's a batch number on the bottom. It's the real deal, but those are things you do want to look out for um, when you get your bottle of Creed and you pay all that money for your bottle. Um, the other thing is, so, so now that we've sprayed green Irish tweed, let's talk a little bit of history about the scent. First, just very quickly, the Creed brand, if you don't know about it, chances are you just really aren't that into fragrances, I'd say. They've been making fragrances since 1760 as the House of Creed in London, England. Um, scents are created by a father and son team, and the current duo is Oliver's son and his quick son, Erwin. Um, Supposedly, they're the noses behind scents like Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, which I'll get into a little bit later, Millicim, Silver Mountain Water. A lot of controversy about A, was Creed really um, a house to royalty? And did they create scents for people like Cary Grant? Supposedly, this scent was created for Cary Grant. Supposedly, Tabarone was created for Winston Churchill. A lot of back and forth on the internet about that, but you know, I'm not really, um, I'm not really buying into any of that stuff. Now, this Green Irish Tweed is part of what Creed sort of unofficially calls their gentleman's collection. It's made up of this guy, Aventus, Millicim Imperial, um, and Vetiver. So, um, that's what they think every gentleman should have. So, you know, I'll probably get most of those. I don't know if I'm going to get the Vetiver. Um, I'm not sure i got to sniff that again. But Aventus, those four are pretty good choices, I'd say. But one thing I don't love about Creed is that... Um, their scents really aren't cold weather friendly, maybe with the exception of Aventus. Even the stuff you think would be heavier, darker, like Royal Oud and um, Tabarone, which is a tobacco scent, uh, are supposed to be a tobacco scent, are very, very light. So they don't really have anything heavy or dark. If you like that, you know, I understand that. So it's good for you. As far as Green Irish Tweed, you're basically going to have top notes of French Verbena, Lemon and Florentine Iris, middle notes of Violet Leaves, and a base note of Sandalwood and Ambergris. Now, for those of you who don't know what ambergris is, it's sort of the DNA that they'll tell you that makes the Creed sense smell as fresh as they do. Um, what it actually is, and this is sort of crazy, I think, but sperm whales, when they eat uh, squid, they can't digest the beaks. So their stomach uh, sort of um, secretes an enzyme that breaks it down. And eventually the whales throw that up and it washes ashore on the beach and forms a hard rock. And that's what ambergris is. Now, it's really expensive. A lot of company, you, companies use a synthetic form. Crete says they use the real deal. And that may be contributing to the price of their fragrances. But it also definitely contributes to that beautiful freshness that is in the Creed DNA. This, what this smells like is like, it's a beautifully fresh green fragrance. For some people, it's too green, but you're definitely going to get those greens at, at the top. And then it's going to dry down to just a better, um, more natural version of those same greens. So it's a really fresh smell with a little bit of that, um, that lemon verbena you can definitely smell. You definitely have the ambergris freshness in there. And you've got um, the, uh, you know, whatchamacallit. 
you've got the um, Florentine iris in there as well. So you can really smell all those things. The top note is just a fresh blast, and then it dries down to a, a nice, long-lasting, fresh scent. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you that uh, you could just buy Cool Water by Davidoff, um, and there's also some of the controversy there is that Pierre Bourdain was the man that made Cool Water for Davidoff, and a lot of people say that he made Green Irish Tweed for Creed as well, bolted to Davidoff, and made a similar scent. I don't know if that's true or not. I just know that uh, there's a big difference between those two. And if you can't tell, it's probably just because you don't have a developed enough nose. Same way if you start drinking wine, it's hard to tell between the variations of red or white grape, you know, a Pinot Noir uh, versus a Bordeaux or a Barolo and a Sauvignon Blanc versus a Chardonnay or a Riesling. Um, it can be challenging, but once you smell enough, you'll see that the Creed is far more natural and the cool water is much more synthetic. And while they are slightly, pretty similar, I'd even say, on first initial blast, the dry down is very different. And the dry down is what you really want to care about with your fragrance because the dry down is going to be what lasts the longest. You know, the initial blast of anything, usually wine stops within an hour, and you're left with the middle and the base. And the middle and the base of this are completely untouchable. Um, who can I see wearing this? I'd say it's probably too mature for high school or college kids. I think uh, this is for a 30-year-old man and up. I could see a woman wearing it, dressing down, hanging out at her boyfriend's house or with her husband, you know, but not, you know, all dressed up with pearls and diamonds and makeup. I don't think they'd wear it then, but I could see just hanging around with it because it's a beautiful, fresh scent. Usually I say with a uh, famous character, I could see wearing this, and I could totally see from the Ocean's Eleven films, either Clooney or... Um, or Sinatra's character Danny Ocean in, in the in the original in the remake wearing this because it's a very fresh, sophisticated scent. It just smells good. It's just something you want to have on you when you smell it. I think it's I think it's really perfect and it's perfect for a dapper, well dressed gentleman. To me it's a nine out of ten. As you guys know, the only thing I've given a ten out of ten to is geranium pour major. Uh, because for me everything clicked with that fragrance, the price, the packaging and the perfume. Um, it's just all right, and I'm fairly sure that Aventus will probably get that 10 too But to me this is a 9 because there are a lot of fragrances that are very much like this guy And for me that sort of detracts him from it in the slightest amount to me There's nothing that smells like geranium pour major nothing um, Now let me also say this if you're looking to start up a nice spring rotation or collection If you can you know spend around $500 I'd recommend you get this I'd also recommend you get what I reviewed uh, a couple weeks ago, Check and Speaks Lavender, Oxford and Cambridge is the name of the fragrance. Get a nice clean fragrance for yourself, maybe Prada's Infusion de Homme. A nice citrus, Hermes's Orange Vert would work very well. Um, so would James Bromley's Eau de Toilette, which I'm going to be doing a review on soon because that's a criminally slept on beautiful citrus fragrance. It's only $50 for 100 ml. And then if you add in like Geranium Pour Major, you have a sick, sick, beastly rotation for spring. You've got your fresh green scent. You've got your fresh floral minty scent. You've got your lavender scent. You've got your citrus scent. And you've got your clean scent. So, like, for spring, this is probably going to be my real go-to crew of, of fragrances. And um, I really think that it's going to be an awesome rotation because all of these are beautiful in their own right. All of them are light and complement the weather perfectly. Um, the only other thing I just want to say on Creed quickly is I've really come around on that brand and I think the reason why is because there is a consistent quality in their brand that I haven't seen in another one. You might not like the fragrance, right? I don't really like their Santel. Um, there's a few of them I'm not in love with, but I can't deny the fact that all of them have this beautiful freshness that just, you know it's Creed and you know it's quality and I think it's that ambergris that does it. So. If you haven't added a Creed bottle to your collection yet, I recommend if you can't afford to go the Creed route, you do like I did. You go to Beauty Encounter, Fragrance Net, Amazon, and you try one out. I'm sure if you go to the Creed Boutique, they'll let you smell some things. You can find which one you want, and you can buy it there, or you can do it online. But definitely add a Creed fragrance to your collection. If you don't want to do this, I'd also heavily look at Millicene Imperial, Aventus, uh, for the summer, Virgin Island Water or maybe Tabarone. Those are all just awesome, as is Royal Oud, which is, I believe, their newest fragrance. Very different, um, but still that freshness. It's not your normal Oud fragrance. We're going to be doing a review on an Oud fragrance very, very soon. 
Last thing I want to say is I have some time off from work over the next two weeks, so I'm going to be doing more videos, um, more stuff on shaving, more stuff on men's skincare. so you're going to be getting a lot of different stuff over the next, uh, next couple weeks or so. So please hit like, please subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. Thank you for all the positive emails and comments. I love you guys. I do this for you guys. And um, I really appreciate all the love I've been getting. Peace out to the entire, entire fragrance community. Robe Zoe, you know, um, my man from Street Sense, Al, Frunkinator Ed, uh, Creed Frags, um, who also got a great show out there. Raj over in London, just like, yo, I, I'm, you dudes are the best. Dan, all of you, you know, I think that I've gotten a lot of love from you guys. And, I always give that love back. So you'll be seeing me in a little while. New video. For now, this is the Creed Green Iris Tweed. And go get a bottle of this because this is no joke. This is piff. This is crack. This is crack in a bottle. All right? So go cop that. I'll see you very soon. Um, I'm Maximilian Houston, and I must know one.